All right. Shalom, Yah Shirala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shah, Bashim Yah Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yah Shah, Bashim Yah Kapudash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, who still gather to the highways and byways and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel, and Shalom, Labachari, and Wabarakim, Shoyah, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the Lashim Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. You know, and today's lesson is going to be centered around or going to be called, but they will not hearken unto thee, man. Who is they that will not hearken unto the prophets? The men of the Lord, start off by the head of apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Our people, man, and two thirds of our people is not going to hearken to us, man. You know, because everything that we uh we uh bring out according to the Bible is uh contrary to their lifestyle, man, because their deeds are evil. You know, so now we're going to go to the book of Jeremiah. We're going to get the first priest out. This is Jeremiah. Chapter 18, verse 11. Now, therefore, speak to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I frame evil against you and devise a device which is a plan against you. Return now every one from his evil way and make your ways and you're doing good, exactly. And this is exactly what our people are supposed to be doing. You know, making a uh, repenting to Yahweh Shemel Shai. You know, so Yahweh Shemel Shai will bring wrath upon them. You know, but of course they're not going to hearken. You know, as it's going to read on, as it's going to say, verse 12. And they said, there is no hope. But we will walk after our own device, which is a plan or devices and we will and we will everyone do the imagination of his evil heart which the word heart go back to the hebrew word a lot which mean a mind so our people is going to lead into their own understanding man you know they're not going to hearken unto the words of the lord they're going to do what they want to do man you know they're not going to repent and turn back to Yahweh Shemesh, the God of the Bible, who the Word even calls God in Jesus Christ, and conduct themselves as the righteous man of the Lord. Our people are going to live their life how they want to live. They're going to be wicked, you know what I'm saying? Even if it costs them uh, their lives, man, which is that's what is going to happen, you know what I'm saying? Because death is going to meet them if they don't repent. But they want to live life how they want to live it. They're going to live it to the fullest, and then the Lord is going to destroy them, man. You know. You know, in the midst of their folly, the Lord is going to put them down, man. You know, just like as the Lord doing, is doing with these celebrities. You know, it's it's, it's crazy. Through the spirit of Pavi Abashim Hashem, I got a certain app, you know what I'm saying? And and, and it's like every single week or, or every two weeks, a celebrity gets put to death, man. Just last week, another female rapper, I think her name was China Rogers, got put to death, man. You know? Uh, they said it was a drug overdose. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's what they said. But ultimately, it goes back to Yahweh Shema Shah. Yahweh Shema Shah, the God of the Bible, is bringing judgment upon the earth, man. And judgment upon our people. You know? For now, hearkening to the prophets, man. Starting off with the head of apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. So now we're going to go from there. The next precept is the book of Ezekiel. Let me see. 33. What is it? Um, let me see. Uh, this is the book of Ezekiel 33, verse 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people are still talking thee by the walls and in the doors of the house, and speak one to another, every one of his every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. And they come unto thee as the people come. And they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, which the words that we speak are according to the Bible. You know what I'm saying? We go out down the highways and hedges, you know, we got people walk by, they come by, and they listen for a minute, you know. And it reads, but they will not do them exactly, although 
they see they see the signs they see the uh, 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 uh we speaking according to the bible our people sit there and listen for like a minute or two maybe three minutes max you know but then you know once they get around the corner and they don't see us anymore they go back to doing their wickedness man that, that demon jumps right on them man you know once they leave that holy ground you know what i'm saying you know they're going back right to wickedness man you know and it reads for with their mouth they do show much love exactly shalom yeah your brother's doing a good deed man you know giving out giving the prophets all type of compliments pretty much being cheerleaders man but their heart which the word heart go back to hebrew a lot mean a mind once again go for I mean go of after their covetousness man. so they're pretty much doing lift service man their minds don't go right back to wickedness man you know the thought they that they was thinking before they saw was is going to be the thought is the thought they're going to do after they leave our presence man you know so it, you know it's they're just doing lip service man you know they're not going to hearken unto the words of the lord they're not going to repent they're not going to turn from their wickedness you know they're just going to be a simple-minded nigga man because the ultimate yahweh shima Shah didn't choose them and open up their minds to receive the understanding of the scriptures man the 100% true understanding of the scriptures, I should say, you know. So now that was it on that precept. So now we're going to go to the book of Isaiah 29, uh, verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but yet remove their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Exactly, man. So our people just, just keep doing wickedness, man. You know, our people just do a bunch of lip service, man. You know, oh, I'm going to be back next week, brother. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, 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 I'm, I'm going to talk to y'all next week. I'm going to come by with my Bible, man. You know, I'm going to bring a fan along. We're going we gonna to listen to y'all. But guess what, man? We didn't ever see them again. You know, and if they all looking for us, guess what? The Lord took his man off the streets for a temporary time. You know, Lord's willing, you know, you know, or it, it may, you know what I'm saying, be forever. You know what I'm saying? The family of the word is so near. You know, the Lord might not put back his prophets on the streets. You know what I'm saying? In uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, man. I talk about our, our camp specifically, man. You know, that's what our people get for now. Hawking to the words of the Lord and listen to the men of the Lord bring out the Bible while... They still could hear it, man. You know? So, I'm going to read this one more time. This is the book of Isaiah 29, verse 13. Wherefore, the Lord said. See, this is thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible, man. The God of the Bible, Yahweh Shemar Shah, said this about our people. For as much as this people, which is the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners, according to the seed of your fathers, draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me. Yeah, a bunch of lip service, man. They being a hero of the word, but not a doer, man. But have removed their heart far from me. Exactly. By not hearkening, you know. By not, um, how should I say, by not obtaining and receiving the 100% truth of the scriptures, man. That's being brought out. Start off with our head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. You know, they're not, um, they're not repenting, you know. And their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. Exactly. They're not fearing the God of the Bible, Yahweh Shemar Shai. You know? They want to go into their own heart, man. They want to uh, go to these churches, man. These these uh, these uh, these Roman Catholic uh, churches, these Baptist churches, Methodist churches, you know, um, uh, 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 this Islam, all these different religions, man. They want to hear their words, but they don't want to hear the words of the prophets. Which are bringing out the truth according to the Bible, you know, out there on the highways and hedges, you know. But it's all right, you know, because the Lord's gonna uh, zap our people real, real soon, man, you know. So now we're gonna go from there to the book of uh, let me see, we got First John, First John. Let me see what it says, First John. Yeah, 1 John 3, verse 18. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Exactly. Uh, they that, that, they that uh, worship the Lord must worship him 
uh, 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 according as it is written, man. You know, in spirit and in truth, man. You know, and that's not what, that's that's what the two thirds of our people are not doing. You know, they just uh, they just love to do a bunch of lip service, man. But their conduct or how they live their life is contrary how Yahweh shot taught our people to live their life, man. You know, they're they're living their life as these other nations, man. You know, they're not living their life as a Hebrew. It's like they're living their life like a other nation. Just like during the time of Samuel, man. You know, our people wanted a, a king. They wanted to be like the other nations, man. So it's the new, it's the same spirits coming back, man. It's the same spirit. There's nothing new under the sun, man. You know? Our people always wanted to be like the other nations. You know, during the time of the uh, first Maccabees, you know, our people sold out, told our people to let's be like the, uh, the what was it, the Greeks, you know what I'm saying, you know, let's be like the uh, the Edomites of that time, you know, it's crazy. You know, our people, you know what I'm saying, never hearkening to the voice of the Lord, man, our people always wanted to be rebellious, you know, and it shows forth through their, uh, through their actions. Matter of fact, I got that account. This is the book of First Maccabees 1 verse 11. In those days, there went out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant, which a covenant is an agreement with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we had much sorrow. So they sold out, man. These wicked Israelites, uh, wicked men, are uh, pretty much the sellouts like the celebrities today man the same spirits coming back oh let's uh let's everybody get along you know what i'm saying you know let's uh, uh let's let's make a, a peace with, with, with everybody you know what i'm saying you know that's uh that's that's around us you know same spirit coming back man you know um so that, that, that was about it you know, verse 12, so this device pleased them well. Exactly. So this plan, which the word device go back to the plan, uh, pleased them well, man, you know. So just like these church pastors, man, these churches. Got the 501 C five oh one C three chat uh chart, um, you know, to preach smooth words into our people, man. You know. So uh let me break up one more priest up. And that's it. This is the book of James 1 verse 22. This is James chapter 1 verse 22. But be ye doers of the word, or what word, of this Bible. Everything that this Bible tells us to do, we're supposed to do to the best of our abilities through the spirit of Paviyah by Shemel Shai as Israelite men that know the truth, you know, especially those who know uh, no right for wrong according to the Bible. This is the book of James 1 verse 22. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceive your own selves. Exactly, because if you're not hearkening to the words of the Lord, man, you're only deceiving your own self, man. You know, saying that you can do things that are contrary to the scriptures, man, but justifying it, you know, you're only deceiving yourself, man. You know, you're just blind. You know what I'm saying? If you got followers, they're blind, and you both going to be destroyed, man, both the leaders and the followers, man. You know, you're going to be destroyed by the Lord when he comes back if you don't repent. You know, we're supposed to be uh, doers of the word and not heroes of the word, man. You know, to the best of our ability. So hey, with that, you know, Lord, when this video is edifying for the Akim and the Akiwaf that's out there that's watching to the spirit of Paviyah by Shemel Shah before I close out. I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem Mechakudash. Next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, and Shalawam, Labacharium, Wabarakium, Shoyar Shirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel, and the Lashimon Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. And until next time, Lord's willing, I say Shalawam.